and a'da'ahum. In the name of God, the compassionate, the merciful, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My dear brothers and sisters, respected viewers, welcome to a live show which has been held here in the Mount Hussein TV channel on the eve of the birthday of Abu Abdullah al Hussein alayhi salam. This great occasion which whole world, whole universe is happy because of it. And inshallah tonight we're going to have a discussion by uh, a respected guest who is here in the studio with me. So uh, without any delay, let's introduce the respected guest, brother, Sheikh Ibrahim Ansari from uh, London, who is our respected guest in this show tonight, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum, Sheikh, and welcome to this studio. Alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. How are you doing? You okay, Alham inshallah? I'm doing great. Alhamdulillah, and congratulations to you on this auspicious occasion of the birth of Imam Al Hussein Ali of Alhamdulillah, and also I would <coughs> like to uh, congratulate you and all the Mu'minin and Mu'minat actually for this great occasion. And this is a very beautiful moment that we are gathering here, and we are going to talk about Abu Abdullah Al Hussein Ali Salam just next to the Holy Shrine of Imam Hussein Ali Salam. Alhamdulillah, everything is great. But before we start, I would like to advise uh, something, if you don't mind, really? and I'm sure that you're not, uh, you will agree. 100% with Actually me, uh, let's just bring a barakah to our conversation here by standing up and facing the Holy Shana of Allah and performing a ziyarah on behalf of the Mu'minin and Mu'minat and then inshallah let's inshallah. start the conversation. Excellent idea, yeah. inshallah. Yeah. Please. <coughs> بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد السلام عليك يا أبا عبد الله وعلى الأرواح التي حلت بفنائك عليكم جميعا مني سلام الله أبدا ما بقيت وبقي الليل والنهار ولا جعله الله آخر العهد مني لزيارتكم السلام على الحسين وعلى علي بن الحسين وعلى أولاد الحسين وعلى أصحاب الحسين الذين بذلوا مهجهم دون الحسين عليه السلام ويا ليتنا كنا معكم فنفوز فوزا عظيما السلام عليك يا أبا الفضل العباس بن أمير المؤمنين ورحمة الله وبركاته اللهم صل على محمد وآلي محمد أحسن الله إليكم جزاكم الله خير that was an excellent excellent idea to start especially on this grand occasion the auspicious occasion of the birth anniversary of Imam Hussein alayhi salam and inshallah this is a ziyara that is expect uh, accepted uh, for our viewers inshallah and not only them but also for their marhumin inshallah who it is very important to remember in such uh, cases exactly and honestly speaking uh, when you started reciting and naming and calling Imam Hussein alayhi salam I just remember this verse which is and such a great tranquility I could feel in my whole uh, heart and my whole you know uh, soul which is uh, you know un, um, introducible mm. let's say it just like this and I'm sure that this is a great connection uh, when we connect to Imam Hussein Aysan, we are directly connected to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says وَاتَّغُوا إِلَيْهِ الْوَسِيلَةِ and Ahsan. these individuals are the ultimate wasila and mean to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala most definitely in fact uh, the the best way to get to Allah Azza wa Jal the best way to seek closeness to Allah Azza yeah. wa Jal is through our holy infallibles and there is especially great importance on Imam al Hussein. Yeah, now, as if someone might come to me and say, What happened to the Holy Prophet? Yeah. What happened to Amir al Mu'minin? Fatima to Zahra, Alayhim Jami and Abdul Salati was Salam. What happened to them? What about Imam al Hussein? Uh, maybe it is appropriate for me to mention a very quick story, inshallah, if you don't mind. Well, yeah, sure, why not? Um, one day it is uh, said that one of our great scholars, mm -hmm. they say he was at a ranking of a marja. Mm -hmm. He was looking at the qualities of Imam al Hussein alayhi salam. And there is one thing that really confused him his turba has shifa. Mm -hmm. The dua under his dome is guaranteed to be accepted. To be accepted, yep. On most of our grand occasions, it is mustahab. 
to perform the ziyara of Imam al Hussein. Even the occasions that are related directly to Allah Azza wa Jal, such as the day of Arafah, day of Arafah yeah. where Allah Azza wa Jal looks at the zuwar of Imam al Hussein before okay. he looks at those who are standing on Mount Arafah. Under the sun and under the sun. Yeah. So he started to think, why is it that Allah gave this to him and not, for example, to the Holy Prophet who mm -hmm. came with his message? Oh. Yani the, the, the question was not why is such a thing kind given, of comparison yeah, but between why was it to him and not to the Prophet? Yeah, a comparison between a comparison. Allah yeah. Knowing of course and 100% yeah. we all believe this hmm. that the Holy Prophet وسلم, is the best of creation yeah, the, and his status is much higher than this that sure. of Imam al Hussein alayhi of the Yet you find that for example taking the turba of Imam al Hussein has shifa while eating the turba of Rasulullah, it's there is haram, a, it's it's haram, haram to, yeah. to eat it. So there was this question. He started, he stayed confused. He started going, asking Allah Azza wa Jal that grant me guidance towards this. He started visiting Masjid al sahla hoping that at least the Imam would intervene and guide him. Upon waiting, 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 one day, a man, he was sat down, he, we say in Arabic, Chanam uh -huh. uh, he was disappointed. Totally Total. disappointed. He thought, I'm not going to get to a conclusion on this. He w th they say he was sat down uh -huh. on, on the floor. In Masjid al sahla In Masjid al sahla uh -huh. And a man came to him. Uh -huh. He said to him, do you mind if I sit down to you, with you and, with and, and tell you a quick story? Uh -huh. So he said, I don't have anything at the moment. And I am mahmoom. Did, I you, am, did, you, I recognize, distressed. did no, you recognize that? No, a random that man a... came to him. It's a random ah, man. Uh -huh. He said, I'm distressed anyway. Let he has a story to tell. Let him tell me a story. Sat down. He said to him, there was a king. Mm -hmm. And at his time, he used to go out to hunt. Mm -hmm. As he went out to hunt, he saw a deer. When he saw that deer, he started running behind it, trying to catch it. He ran so far that even his guards couldn't keep up anymore. He found himself in the middle of the desert and his, he looked around. The guards weren't around anymore. He was lost. He was lost. And in the middle of the desert, how is he going to find his way out? He was running. He sees a house far away, mm -hmm. a little hut. He goes to it. He knocks on the door. An old lady comes out. He says, uh, I am thirsty. I was just running, trying to hunt. I wasn't able to get anything. I am thirsty. Do you have something for me to drink, to something drink. for me to eat? She said, uh, it's not appropriate for you to be standing at my door. I'm a woman by myself. My son is out. When he comes back, then you can, can stand here. He said to her, please, at least a drink of water. Mm -hmm. She said, no problem. She brought him a glass of water. He drank from it. She said, now you have to leave. Mm -hmm. He said, I'm still hungry. She said, it's not appropriate for you to come into my house. If you want, wait outside. When my son comes back, he's gone out to hunt. When my son comes back, you can come and... And you can eat, eat with, us. with us. The son comes back. He sees a man standing by the door. He said, what are you doing here? He said to him, I am hungry. And I asked for permission from the lady that is inside. He said, that's my mother. He mm. said, yes, I asked her permission. She said, I can sit here, wait for you until you bring the food. And then maybe we can eat together. Eat together. He came. His hands were empty. He didn't, oh. he didn't manage to get anything that day. He said, no problem. Are you hungry? Are you thirsty? He said, yes. He brought him some milk. Mm -hmm. He drank from that milk. Then he said, I'm still very hungry. Mm. He said, no problem. They had one goat. That's all they had. They slaughtered the goat and they cooked it and gave him food from the meat of that goat. To an unknown person who was hungry to an unknown and person. thirsty. They don't know anything about this person. They uh -huh. don't know he's the king. They live in the desert. They don't know these individuals. It was just a person who is hungry. All they had was the goat. They slaughtered it and gave it to him. And gave it to the so the king ate from it and he left. When he left, he told them, if you are ever in need of anything, come to the city and ask about my name and come to me. Mm -hmm. Said to him, okay, thank you very much, but we don't need anything. We didn't give this to you for very any return. Go. He went. <coughs> they started eating from this meat constantly until it finished. The problem is that during this whole time, the son was still unsuccessful in hunting. Mm. His mother said to him, we have finished our food. We are hungry. This person said, come ask for my name. Let's ask. I said, maybe he has something. He said, do you know what? We have nothing to lose. We don't have anything anymore anyway. He, they went. They started asking for his name. I said, are you crazy? Do you know who you're asking about? They're looking at people who are filled with sand, etc. Do, do you know who you're asking about? They said, no, he told us to come. He said, you will never see this man. Go away. 
So people are carrying on saying, go away, go away, until one person said, if you want to go down this road, there will be a palace at the end of it. That's his house. That's his house. Palace. They come, they stand by the door, they see a palace. They say, this person asked us to come to him. He said, to, he started laughing in their face. This person is never going to let you in. He said, just go and tell him that I am the one who is standing at the door and see. They, the guard went toward him, Fulan is at the door, this individual is at the door. He said, let him in quickly. Mm. So him and his mother entered. When they entered, his ministers are gathered around him, etc. He got up from his seat. Wow. He sat him in his seat. He said, you sit down here. This is your place to sit. He said to him, they, he said to them, this person's story is this. They had nothing and I had nothing. They gave me everything that they had, they had in order to feed me at a time when I was very hungry, just to introduce him. Then he looked at him. He said to him, why are you here? He said to him, remember that good that we slaughtered? Yeah. He said, yes, of course I remember. Thank you very much for that meal. He said, no, no, I'm not asking you to thank me. Unfortunately, we have finished the food that we have. And I haven't been successful in hunting. I was hoping that maybe you can give us something that we can So take we can like. leave. Yeah. He looked at his ministers. Mm. He said, I've told you his story. And now he is asking me for something. For what should I give him? One minister said, give him, he gave you a goat, give him a goat. Give him a goat. Just Another one, one, one said, no, you're a king. Uh -huh. He gave you one goat, give him ten. Ten. Goats. This person, they kept, all the ministers kept giving him different answers. He said to them, you are all wrong. So what should the king give to the person? He said, this man, all he had was one goat and he gave all of that to me. So it is only appropriate for me to thank him with everything that I have. And he took off his crown. Wow. Tried to put it on his head. He said, no, 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 don't do that. First of all, I live in the desert. I don't know anything about this. I don't know how to lead rule a government. First, yeah, I don't rule, know how rule to rule. Country, rule the country, yeah. He said to him, okay, in that case, you, I will build a palace for you like my palace. And I will give you servants like my servants. And you will have money like my money. Everything that I have and everything that I own, you will have exactly the same of it. The same of it. Allah. This man then looked at this marja, marja that was yeah. sitting down. He said to him, Sayyidna, this man is a human being and a king. Mm -hmm. He saw a man give him everything that he had, so he gave him everything that he can give. Imam al Hussein gave Allah everything, everything. that he had. Even and you are thinking evidence. about why Allah gave him so much more. Allah. And this is all about justice. And Allah is just. And the justice of Allah. We all believe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, justice is, uh, is dominating mm. all around the world. And Allah is a just creator. So why shouldn't Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be just even in this Ahsanto. case, which happened by Imam Hussein? Definitely. Definitely. That's why, by the way, you find. Even there's a, um, interestingly, there's a philosopher has said, mm -hmm. some people say he is of the Sunni madhab, others say no, he became Shia after us. I don't know. His name is Al-Afghani. If you look uh -huh. him up, you'll find him. He has a very famous uh, quote. Which is? He says that Islam, in al-Islam, Muhammadiyu al-wujud. It came mm. through Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wa Husseiniyu al-baqa wa al-istimrar. Subhanallah. It is through Hussein that it still continues today. Exactly. The Prophet came with it. Hmm. Imam al Hussein is the one. And Guaranteed if we its presence up to now. Yes, 100%. Oh, by his if it blood, wasn't yeah. for his tathaya, if it wasn't no. for his sacrifice. And I know this is a day of wulada, but it's important to remember certain uh, certain events, and such as the sacrifice of Imam al Hussein, alayhi salam, it is the reason that Islam is, which is why Imam Zain al Abidin, alayhi salam, he is walking in the streets of Sham. A person comes and says to him, What? He says to him, Alhamdulillah, alladhi fadahakum. Allah. May Allah. Uh, I praise Allah Azza wa Jal, the one who has shown you to be liars. Allah. He looked at him. He said to him, do you think that we lost this war? He said to him, yes, you have come out and you have lost. He said, no, by Allah, we are victorious. He said, where's your proof? You are here as captives. He said, listen. Started listening, he heard the adhan. He said, as long as this adhan goes on, that means we were victorious. We are. And just according to what you said, because Imam Hussain uh, guaranteed the continuous of Islam all the way to, to today that we are just able to sit next to Holy Shana Fadha Abdullah Salam Salam Allah. talking about it is that uh, according to the historian uh, uh, quotes and the stories Muawiyah may Allah curse him 
promised to bury the name of the Holy Prophet mm. Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, where he was saying to one of his uh, friends, I forgot his name anyway, Dafnan Dafna, Wallahi Dafnan Dafna. He was planning to do this, and Yazid was trying to make his father's dream true by ordering to kill all the men in the camp of Imam Hussein alayhi salam and also they tried to kill Imam Zain al-Abidin alayhi salam while he was sick but Bibi Zainab sallallahu alayhi didn't allow them to do that subhanallah exactly Imam Hussein alayhi salam by his blood watered the plant of Islam the tree of Islam which was still a very very thin and weak plant but right now alhamdulillah we see that tashayyu Islam is dominating Definitely. is just spreading <coughs> all around the world Definitely. and whoever hears the message of Islam if he opens his mind if he is a, an open-minded person not a kind of uh, mutaassib person then he will say that yeah Islam is the best religion no, most happen. definitely if you when you look up, when you look for a religion what do you look for you see it is within a human nature this is one of the things mm. that sometimes we have yeah. we don't need to bring anus it is within human nature that they look for leadership. As in the human nature, this is our nature. Yeah. We look for leadership. Definitely. Then we look for answers. Isn't every single individual, even those who are an atheist, you are trying to tell me that there is a person who is truly an atheist? I think no. There are, there are many, many of those who say they are atheists, they're actually agnostic. Mm -hmm. They don't know if there is a God or there, if there isn't. And many of them still question what will happen after I die. A person, uh, the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he has a narration. Mm -hmm. He says that the biggest proof, the biggest proof of the day of judgment, the biggest proof of the day of judgment, or the biggest proof that we have an intellect that thinks about the day of judgment, is the fact that we think about the day of judgment. Uh -huh. That we think about uh, the death. That we think about a grave. Why? This is the biggest proof of a need for us to be moral. Why do you need to be moral today? Why do I need to be moral? Why do I need to do that which is good? If I did not, if I knew for a fact that there was nothing coming after me. Man amin al iqab sa al adab. We have this yeah. uh, maqula in Arabic. The one who knows for a fact that they will have uh, no iqab, uh, no, punishment, no punishment, they will start doing bad things. No, Why is it that I, in my human nature, go towards that which is good? It is because I know for a fact that there is something coming after me. This is one of the biggest proofs. So for a person, what do you look for then in a religion? You look for a, a God that is worthy of worship. Not to get too much into Tawheed, but the most beautiful definition of Tawheed is found only, and I say only, and I will repeat only, in mm. the Ja'fari school of thought. MashaAllah. Because if I look at other schools of thought, مثلاً, I look at a different religion, وقالت, Mm -hmm. the, the Yahud said yeah. that Allah has a son. I mm -hmm. said maybe the, 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 the Jewish today maybe may say something else, but even they have ish, ishkal in their yeah, sure. belief in Tawheed. And the Christians said that God has a son and is made of three parts. Mm -hmm. I said let's not get into the Trinity. Then others came from other schools of thought and said that Allah has a hand and Allah has a foot and Allah. So they have put him into a Meccan and Zaman. Or they made him something that we can imagine. And there were others that came and said, No, Allah Azza wa Jal intervenes in our day-to-day -day life in such a way that we have no ikhtiyar and all of it is jabur and all of it. Oh, this is طبعاً, because when I say this, because the justice of Allah is part of his tawheed. Yeah. And then there were others, there were others, there were others. Until you came to the Ja'fari school of thought. Okay. And the most beautiful definition of tawheed is Allah everything that you can imagine is not Allah. Is not Allah. And Allah is one with no parts. Nothing can be compared to him. Mm -hmm. What a beautiful definition of a in of, of a being that I would want to take as a God. Before we come to Allah mm -hmm. Azza What a beautiful definition of a being that I want to worship. Which is why Ibrahim he looks Nabi Allah Ibrahim salam alayhi wa nabina wa alayhi wa he looks at the moon goes, cannot be God. Because looks it, at the sun, it cannot be God. It disappears. He looks at the sun, he says, Hada Akbar, this is greater. Yeah, this is greater, this is bigger, so maybe it's it is. <laughs> but it, it goes and, no, mustahil, this is God. No, Allah Azza wa Jal is that being that the most beautiful definition you find in the Ja'fari school of thought. So just to begin with that, through Tawheed, I am guided. Good. 
Jacques, I'm talking about the reason of creation and the end of this life living in this world, which is not permanent actually, and it finishes one day for every each and one person. Uh, Insha'Allah, and we believe in it, and we hope that Imam Hussein, Amir al Mu'minin, they intercede for us. Inshallah. And Insha'Allah, we all go to heaven. What is heaven, and what is the relation between heaven? And Imam Hussein alayhi salam, as we are in the eve, uh, in the eve of the birthday anniversary of Abu Abdullah al Hussein alayhi salam, cool. is there uh, any relation between? Yeah, them? of course there's a re relation because the reason being is because when we look at anything in this world, it's in relation to our infallibles. Mm -hmm. We recite uh, potentially on a weekly basis at least Hadith al Kisa, Ma khalaqtu sama an mabniya, wala arda madhiya, wala qamaran muniran, wala shamsan mudiya, wala all of these things that I have created. Are for what? Illa. This illa, if we just focus on it just a second, yeah. I, I, I did not create all of these things. Illa means except. Except. Mm -hmm. This illa except means if it wasn't for these individuals, then these things wouldn't have, wouldn't been, have been created. created. Yeah. So there is an exception. Not I created for these individuals and there is other reasons. No, illa. For those five individuals that are uh, under the cloak. Illa. This is the only exception. The only exception is, is these infallibles mm. that are under the cloak. Which is why, Ya Ahmed, Lawla Kalama Khalaktu al Aflaq in the Hadith Qudsi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Walawla Ali Lama Khalaktuk, Walawla Fatim Lama Khalaktukuma. If it wasn't for you, O oh, Ahmed, I wouldn't have created the universe. And if it wasn't for Ali, I wouldn't have created you. And if it wasn't for Fatima, I wouldn't have created either of you. So these things, the creations are all in relation to the Ma'asumin. The heaven, heaven itself is also in relation to our infallibles mm -hmm. and Imam Al Hussein being one of them. Another thing is that the status that Imam Al Hussein will have on the Day of Judgment is that he is Sayyid Shabab Ahl Al Jannah alongside his brother Imam Al Hassan alayhi salam, that he is the master of the youth of paradise. Which, funnily enough, those who came and tried to give a status to other individuals, they said, Person X and Person Y will be mm. the masters of who? Allah. The elderly of, of paradise. So, so hold on a second, Marco elderly <laughs> in the paradise, all you. Where did you get this they from? They're all The <laughs> Ajeev, Al Muhim, this is the relation of, of, of heaven to mm. Imam Al Hussein alayhi afdal salati wa salam, or the relation to all of the universe, which is why everything that we are thankful for. When people blame us to come towards Imam Al Hussein, mm -hmm. when people blame us for going towards Amir Al Mu'minin, towards Fatima Al Zahra, don't blame me. Because everything that I have, every na'ma that I have, this yeah. na'ma that I have in front of me, that I would not have had this if it wasn't for the presence of the infallible. And at this time especially, we remember Sahib al-Zaman, yeah. Ta'ala Farjah al-Sharif. Everything that I have of na'ma, which is why, well, if it wasn't for the dua of the Imam, the Imam of my time, mm -hmm. Imam al-Mahdi, Ajala Ta'ala Farjah al-Sharif, لَسَاخَتْ bikumul الْأَرْضِ Subhanallah. This is the importance of the Imam, the and of course, the, the, uh, the creation of... Of, of heaven and the and the world and the universe. Allah subhanallah, mashaAllah. Thank you so much. And uh, you know, uh, the discussion in this regard is so long and it takes a long time. And it doesn't, unfortunately, the time, the uh, limited time that we have in this. Don't tell me we finished. Yeah, yeah. No, we only ah. got 10 minutes. <laughs> we, we only got Ajib. 10 minutes. The time Ajib. is passing so fast yeah. and there are lots of things we need to talk about about Imam Hussain alayhi salam because Imam Hussain alayhi salam is a great individual. He's a great infallible Imam. And he is exactly the exception of creation, as you mm. said. You know, yeah, the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him and his progeny is the greatest creation, yeah. We all know it and we just admit it. But Imam Hussain alayhi salam is the exception because as you said, the turba of Imam Hussain alayhi salam has got the shifa. Dua under the dome of the Abu Abdullah al Hussein, under the Qubba of Imam Hussein alayhi salam, is guaranteed to be accepted and inshallah fulfilled. So, uh, even at the birth of Imam al Hussein alayhi salam, uh -huh. the Prophet guided those who need their dua to be accepted towards Imam al Hussein with the famous story of Fatras, the angel. Mm -hmm. When he came to congratulate the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam on the birth of Imam al Hussein alongside Jibrail and a thousand of his other angels. Uh, 
لعله most of the viewers are familiar with the story of Fatra, so I don't want to. That, that was uh, beautiful too. I don't, I don't want to expand on it too uh -huh. much. But what happened was Fatra, he was ordered by Allah Azza wa Jal to do something. He was slow in performing it. Um, Allah Azza wa Jal uh, made him choose between uh, being punished in this world or in the hereafter. He mm. chose this world, so he put him on an island on this world without his wings. With broken wings or with without, broken wings. Yeah. So his yeah. wings were actually broken. Broken, yep. When these wings were broken, uh, Jibrail, upon the birth of Imam, we have narration that say 500 years or 700 years, he was worshipping Allah, Allah Azza wa Jal. In this situation. In and this in situation, this Allah. So 500 or 700 years, depending on either narration, mm -hmm. Jibrail comes past this island. He says to him, where are you going? He sees a thousand angels with him. He says, we are going to congratulate uh, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam for a great blessing has come to him. He said to him, please take me with you. So he put him on the side of his wing. They went to him, the Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa sallam. They congratulated him on the birth of Imam al Hussein. Fatr says to the Holy Prophet, he says to him, "Oh Muhammad, this is what has happened, and I have been worshiping Allah for five hundred seven or five five hundred or seven hundred years, and I ask you to intercede for me." Mm -hmm. He asked you to intercede, the Prophet, by Allah azza wa jal. What did he say to him? He said to him, "Go to the Mahd." the basket of Imam al Hussein alayhi of the salati was salam and the rub your wing on it. To the man, not to Imam Hussein alayhi salam's body. To the, the man of Imam al Hussein alayhi Whereas the Prophet could have raised his hand in dua and everything would have finished there. Subhanallah. Said him, do yeah, what? Sure. Go to the mahad of Mahid Imam al Hussein alayhi salam and rub your wing on it. He would rub his wing and Allah would forgive his sins. For the sake of Imam Hussein. For the sake of Imam Hussein. Yeah, so, from his birth, the Prophet guided us towards Imam Hussein. And that is why you find the famous narration from our Imams mm. that Kulluna Sufunun Najat. We are all the ships of salvation, but the ship of our grandfather Hussein is Awsa. Yeah. Is much greater and it's it wider, takes in yeah. wider and takes in more individuals. And this is the Safin of Imam al Hussein. May Allah Azza wa allow us to be amongst those who uh, who will be able to board this great ship of salvation. Brother Ibrahim, you beautifully mentioned a historical event by the birth of Abu Abdullah al Hussein alayhi salam, Abu Fatrus, what happened to this angel of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That we know that angels are also infallible and they are they don't do sins, you know. Uh, is there any especially in this day, uh, the day of birth, the, the birthday of Imam Hussein alayhi salam, any dua or anything which is related to Fatrus yeah. and what is related to us, uh, something that gives us that, you know, beautiful image of being like Futros. Can you just mention something like that, if there's uh, any? So uh, it is narrated to us, this dua is narrated by Imam al-Hassan al-Askari, on the third of Sha'ban, the dua of the Which day. Which is exactly just like tomorrow. Tomorrow, yep. insha'Allah. Insha the day of the third of Sha'ban, the day of the walada of Imam al Hussein alayhi wa sallam, wa sallam, there is a dua to be recited on that day. If you don't mind, I will just no, take sure. it out inshallah. Well, that, that would be great and because we like to give our information Ahsant. exactly out of the ideas Ahsant. and kalam of, of Ahl al Bayt. So, hey, this is in, in the a'mal of, of, of this day, of the third of Sha'ban. It is who narrates this? Shaykh al Tusi. Uh -huh. May Allah uh, bless his soul narrates this dua from Imam al-Hassan al-Askari alayhi wa sallatu wa sallam. It was narrated by uh, Abil Qasim ibn Ala al-Hamadani. Mm -hmm. He was a uh, he was a wakil of Imam al-Hassan al-Askari alayhi mm -hmm. wa sallatu wa sallam. So he actually narrated, because you know we have a difference of opinion. On the birth anniversary of Imam al-Hussein, some said it's the third and some said it's the fifth of Sha'ban. Uh -huh. So this narration we have, this wakil narrates this from who? Uh, Imam al Hassan al Askari that was on the third. On the third. So, for example, Sheikh al Mufid, uh -huh. he says it was on the fifth of, the third, uh, of Sha'ban. So, there are two opinions, but the, the majority of people go to the third, the third of Sha'ban. Sha so, he says on the third of Sha'ban, Imam al Hussein was born, and on this day, recite this dua. The dua starts with Allahumma inni as'aluka bihaq al mawlud fi hadha al yawm. So, you start your dua, oh Allah, I ask you. For, for the, the sake, sake of, of Imam al Hussein, for the sake born, of the one who is born, born on this day. On this day. 
So it's a lengthy dua, uh -huh. as you can see, it's quite, yeah, uh, quite long. Dua, but Allah. towards the end of it, look at the beautiful words. Yeah, I see. Oh Allah, wahab lana fi hadha al yawm khayr mawhiba. Grant us a gift today. Mm -hmm. That is the greatest of gifts. Allah. Wa anjih lana fihi kulla talibatih. And make everything that we ask for, uh, make it fulfill, fulfill it, fulfill it, inshallah. كما وهبت الحسين لمحمد جده. This is beautiful. In the same way that you gifted Hussein to Muhammad, his grandfather. To his grandfather. Look Muhammad. at the beautiful wording. Grant us this blessing and fulfill our needs in the same way that you granted you this great gift to Muhammad. You granted yeah, Hussein, Hussein as a gift, as a gift to, to Muhammad, his grandfather. His grandfather. Then so that else? will be a great gift for us because Ahsentum. it is comparing, it is being compared by the birthday of Muhammad Hussein Salam to the Holy Prophet Ahsentum. Muhammad Hussein Jaddi wa'adha futrusun bi mahdih. And futrus, yeah. he came wa'adh. Ad is a difficult word to translate, uh -huh. but what it would mean is usually when you throw your something on, uh, throw yourself on something, mm -hmm. when you when you try to to. Um, uh, seek something yeah. within within a specific uh, object. Ada futrusun bi mahdi. Futrus came. He threw himself on his mahd, on his uh, if you like his his, his basket. Aidoon bi qabrah. We, in the same way that Futrus threw himself on that mahd, oh Allah, we throw ourselves on the grave <laughs> of <laughs> Imam Al Hussein alayhi salam after him. Man ba man ba'da. نشهد تربته. We witness his soil. His soil. وننظر أوبته آمين رب العالمين. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That was great. I would like all of the respective viewers to keep their feelings just in this way that we are, because the time is over. And know that this <coughs> gift, being next to the Holy Shrine of Prophet Muhammad, is just like the gift that Allah gave to the Holy Prophet Muhammad by giving him. Abu Abdullah Hussein alayhi salam. Thank you so much. That was thank great. Thank you very much. MashaAllah. May Allah bless you. Allah. My dear brothers and sisters, respected viewers, thank you so much for tuning in. And inshallah, the next day, we're going to be again with you with another live show. Have a great night. And let Baikia Hussein.